that's it. I finally had enough of lockdown. I am sick to death of being surrounded by people that have either been in or come out of my vagina. Good morning. I know the lighting in here sucks. Don't do it. I know the lighting in here sucks. Uh, my son and I just woke up. Just had my morning coffee. Thank God. And I'm up here on TikTok and I just heard this and I wanted to share it with y'all. At what point do you cut off toxic family? See, here's what people do. Here's how we got. Everybody's guilty of this, including myself. I've done it to myself. I can't tell you how many times. How many times has God gotten you through something and you stay right there? You keep referring back to it. You keep putting your foot back over in the frying pan. You keep sticking your foot in the fire. How many times has God brought you through something and you stay there mentally? You keep beating yourself up for the baby you had. You beat yourself up for dropping out of school, flunking out of school. You beat yourself up for that relationship you stayed in too long. But he got you through it. He got you through this relationship with your family. Now, instead of you accepting the fact that he got you through it, you keep dabbling in it. You want them to be different, and they're not. Then you buy them something, they treat you good. Then as soon as they get through eating the dinner or using your car, then they write back to treating you funky. It's time to cut your loss. I thought that was the most amazing advice ever. Comment down below. Why do you keep putting yourself back in the fire? Right? Steve has a point. Why keep putting your foot back on the fire when you know you're going to get burnt? Right? It doesn't have to be just family. It's friends. It's toxic people. So, that was a good positive message that I woke up to. I am team too close for this, but I'm going to be reacting to some more TikToks. Let's go. I don't know why certain men act like it's certain lines you shouldn't cross once they've disrespected you. A man will lie, cheat, be disrespectful, misuse, and abuse you, and be delusional enough to think that you're still going to be that same good girl that you was in the beginning. Believe it or not, there are still men out here that will bring the absolute worst out of you and then play victim. You cannot disrespect somebody and then put limitations to how they disrespect you back. You cannot say and do hurtful shit to somebody and then expect them to respect you or be nice to you. Why would you stay the same when a person has changed on you? He ain't God and you ain't no fucking lame. I did not say change you being a good girl. I said change who you're being a good girl to. Don't fight over niggas, we replace them. If he can't get it together, then erase him. We ain't arguing with no bitch about no dick when it's billions of niggas that was born with the same shit. Yeah, I said, do you got some money? I'm curious. Just cause I was laughing, I'm serious. Don't ask me about no nigga in my past tense. If we fucking shit, I'm trying to make you my last nigga. <laughs> the best revenge to get back. Shit, don't hit back. And tell I'll admit it, I be tripping about the small shit. Insecure is what you call it. Say you don't trust me, the what is the point of all this? When a girl's been hurt by a man many times, it just pushes her away. Now she's afraid to give any man a chance in her life. But it's not her fault if you really think about it. It's what she's been put through. You feel me? You know she's a queen. When she's going through hell. And it's not herself. But she keeps moving forward. That's pressure. Boy, that voice. Oof. <laughs> six things I wish I knew a little earlier watch to the end number one being alone doesn't make you lonely but being surrounded by the wrong people does number two you cannot heal in the same environment that hurts you, you can't number three never ignore the red flags just to see the good in people never do that 
number four, their behavior and how they act is sometimes the answer. Number five, the grass isn't greener somewhere else. The grass is green where you water it. And number six, this is a big one. If you're a giver, know your limits because takers don't. They just gonna keep taking. You know, all she wanted was for you to love her. She wanted you to see how much she cared about you. She wanted your attention. She tried so hard to get you to see how amazing she was, but what she discovered instead was that you are incapable of loving her or anyone else because you are so broken. And she finally realized it wasn't her job to fix you. Can we play that again? You know, all she wanted was for you to love her. She wanted you to see how much she cared about you. She wanted your attention. She tried so hard to get you to see how amazing she was, but what she discovered instead was that you are incapable of loving her or anyone else because you are so broken. And she finally realized it wasn't her job to fix you. Thank you, sister. The worst thing a woman can't do is wasting years of her life waiting for a man to change. But eventually, a real woman will get tired of wasting her time and will come to the point when she will value herself and realize that she deserves better. Feel me? You are holding on to somebody who don't give a shit about you. You are holding on to somebody who does not care about how you feel, how you think, and the things that are actually hurting you. You're telling them how you feel. You're telling them what you don't want, and they still continue to hurt you. They still continue to manipulate you. They still continue to do the things you don't want them to fucking do, and you're still letting them. What part don't you get that whatever you tolerate is you teaching them how to treat you? I feel like if I don't shout right now, you're not going to get it through your thick skull. And yes, this is tough love, but you don't understand how much I care about y'all, man. I care about your heart. I care about how you feel. What I'm trying to let you know is that you need to care about how you feel. I feel like I just got torn down, but I grew up on tough love and I needed to hear that. This Monday will be the best day of your life. Something unexpected will happen that will change your life forever. Life will be different, and you will know freedom and happiness. Like a comment, a follow to claim. Alright, that's it. Y'all, um, I'm gonna go. If you like uh, me reacting to TikToks, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will do more reacting to them. I don't know why I just did that. I just feel like I did this, though. Um, but anyways... See y'all in the next vlog. Kisses from the missus. And don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beans that you are. Oh my gosh. How did I stop saying that? That felt so damn good. Let me say it again. Kisses from the missus. And don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beans that you are. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next vlog. I love you guys. No, say bye. Bye. <laughs> if I hear, girl, what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Then why you won't leave him? Cause bitch, dick too bomb. Girl, get some present dick. They'll blow your back out. Just saying. <laughs>